What's up and welcome to Tech Vault news show where we talk about what's new and latest in technology. I'll tell you right now we got some insane stuff for today so stay tuned. So first of all we got some look at the fall creator update from Windows 10. We got a look at the benchmarks how it affects your game performance and actually surprisingly it could be a lot worse but there's a slight bit of you know game change and actually you know we did a lot of research and some of the stuff out there and it turns out that the benchmarks actually do have a bit of a difference so you might want to stay tuned for that we also found a VR ready SSD we'll get into that later today and of course potential iPhone X shortages when they come out apparently they were planning to like you know produce two times the amount they're gonna have and there's only gonna be about two million iPhone X at the release date of November 9th or 10th I believe but basically that means that we're just not going to have as many and you know while that may seem like a lot that's not enough for everybody. And of course the Threadripper is on discount we'll talk about that later and this is Tech Vault so we'll see you guys in a couple seconds. So what you're probably wondering is at the beginning of this video we talked about how the fall creator update you know it's been modifying your game performance and that's a good thing because well, you know, improvements can be good for software, and I mean, I'm not trying to be out here going, well, you know, the, this update, I'll just put it out there, it does slightly affect your game performance worse, and I don't know how to say that, so we'll just say that it does slightly affect your game performance and nerf your game performance a little bit, but it also does better in some aspects as well, so just keep in mind, as usual, that the Windows game mode is just not something you want to be messing around if you have high performance software, other than that though, or high performance hardware, other than that, though, if you have low-performing uh, hardware, then you might want to go with the game mode. But that's not something to be in there. But we'll get into that later over here and looking over here. And let's talk about this VR-ready SSD. So, I was scrolling through Reddit today. And I was just, you know, looking through it. I was like, hmm, well, let's just see what's new on Reddit. And I saw somebody had posted something about a VR-ready SSD. Now, while you're not really wrong about the VR Ready SSD, I think the VR stuff is getting a little out of hand. Now, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think? Is the VR-ness out of hand? Is there too much VR stuff going on? I mean, after all, you could have a hard drive from four years ago and it still would be considered VR Ready because what does it need to have necessarily? There's no requirements for VR Ready. Like, you could put some Intel Pentium. I mean, the v VR stuff, I'm just going to be honest, in my personal opinion, is getting a little out of hand. They need to either get some standards for it or what can be VR Ready and what is really doesn't matter. Because, I mean, an SSD is just taking that too far. So, finally, or the next step is the iPhone X shortages. And now, let me make this clear. If apparently, from what I've read, is that they're actually going to have le like almost half of what they originally thought they were going to produce. And it looks like on the opening day, uh, they're going to only have two to three million. And of course, as I said, that's a lot of iPhones. You think about it, but then again, they're planning on producing only 20 million, which think about it, that's a good bit. And that's, of course, across the whole world as well at that date. Now, obviously, you're thinking, well, you know, what's the backing behind this? And apparently, Tim Cook, the, if you don't know, that's the CEO of Apple. And I almost said owner of Apple, but we got to keep in mind the shares and stuff. So it's CEO. Basically, he just said that they're working really hard to try to meet the demands that they think they'll have. And basically, it means that inferred off of it that they're not going to have enough supply. And especially looking at some past examples for the iPhone 7 and such, it looks like it's just going to be a shortage everywhere. Next up, we're going to talk about the discounted Threadripper price. And now, of course, you're getting $100 off of the Threadripper. And I'm not here to advocate for, you know, what product you should buy. Obviously, this is kind of like me trying to, you know, I personally prefer performance for price. But, I mean, other people can be fanboys. I really don't have personal preference. I think it's good. Whatever you like, you do. I mean, I have no issue with it. But I personally just want to let you guys know that's $100 off. I mean, it's still around, what is it, $800? Eight hundred and fifty, maybe. Wait, we'll just go with eight hundred to be flat. I know it's somewhere around there, um, but basically that's a really good deal. Sixteen cores, uh, thirty-two threads, and a lot of processing power. And of course, if I had was looking for a PC, I don't know if I'd still spend a thousand dollars on a processor. But that's just my personal opinion. I like my eighteen hundred X. I use it for my video editing, and I'm all good. But just keep in mind that $100 off is a really good deal to go for. So I think you should guys should check it out if you're in the market to buy PC. Now, of course, keep in mind, though, that an Intel processor with the same amount of cores and stuff is a lot more expensive. But also, you're dropping some of the clock speed. So just keep that in mind as well if you're interested in buying one of those as well. But if you did enjoy this video, I hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow. And, of course, if you do enjoy these tech news videos, maybe you should drop a subscription so you can stay at the latest and greatest 
in tech news and keep updating because that's kind of important around here now because i mean hey we got whenever the gpu prices fall i think we're all really looking for that one of course it looks like uh, i don't want to get into that that's a that's a long story but basically just to keep in mind gpu prices might be falling in the next couple of days because of the 1070 ti release so let's see what that is and of course thank you all for tuning in here guys see you guys right back here tomorrow